Welcome again to the Sunday Gorilla Men's Bible Study. I'm Brother Thomas Lee Harris III, and we have reached the 13th and final chapter in the book of Hebrews, and we're going verse by verse. So gather your Bibles, get ready, chapter 13, verse 1. Let brotherly love continue. Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by doing so, for by so doing, some have unwittingly entertained angels. Remember the prisoners as if chained with them, those who are mistreated, since you yourselves are in the body also. Marriage is an honorable, marri verse 4, marriage is honorable among all, and the bed undefiled, but fornicators and adulterers God will judge. Verse 5, let your, conduct be without, let your conduct be without covetedness. Be content with such things as you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Remember those who rule over you, who have spoken the word of God to you, who who faint, whose, whose faith follow considering the outcome of their conduct. Verse 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried about with various and strange doctrines. For it is good that the heart, is, heart be established by grace. Not with foods which have not profited those who have been. Amen. Verse 9 again. Do not be carried about with various and strange doctrines. For it is good that the heart be established by grace. Not with foods which have not profited those who have been occupied with them. We have an altar from which those who serve the tabernacle have no right to eat. For the bodies of those animals whose blood is brought into brought into the sanctuary by the high priest for sin are burned outside the camp. Therefore Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered outside the gate. Therefore let us go forth to him outside the camp, bearing his reproach. For here we have no continuing city, but we seek the one to come. Therefore, by him let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God, that is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Verse 16. But do not forget to do good and to share. For with such sacrifices God is well pleased. Obey those who rule over you and be submissive. For, that, for, that, for they watch out for your souls as those who must give an account. Let them do so with joy and not with grief, for that would be unprofitable to you. Verse 18, pray for us, for we are confident that we have a good conscience in all things desiring to live honorably. Verse 19, but I especially urge you to do this, that I may be restored to you the sooner now may the God of peace who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you complete in every good work to do his will, working in what is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Verse 22. And I appeal to you, brethren, bear the word of exhortation, for I have written to you in a few words. Know that our brother Timothy has been set free, with whom I shall see you if he comes shortly. In verse 24 and 25, greet all those who rule over you in all saints. Those from Italy greet you. Grace be with you all. Amen. And that has concluded the verse-by-verse -verse study through the book of Hebrews. God bless you.